I'm Madison. I'm Olivia. And welcome to We're Completely Booked, episode 13, 14? No, it's numbers. <laughs> you know what? We're so far into this, we don't even need to get into this. And we're so number. excited about this book that we don't even know what number we're on this book. That's so fun to read. Oh, I'm, having, I hope I'm holding mine upside down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Soul of an Octopus by Cy Montgomery. Cy Montgomery. This book tells a story about Cy's experience, uh, real actual experiences in aquarium, in the Boston Aquarium. Yes, it's non fiction. That's our first one. Oh, wow, really? I thought we First were non fiction book. How about that? It's about time we got the Wendy's. Tells right, her. the Boston Aquarium. But she also travels to the Seattle Aquarium and she goes on trips scuba diving to here and there. Blah, blah, blah. But mostly she's at this one aquarium and she's studying octopuses and how awesome they are. It's not octopi, if you just corrected me in your head. No, it's not. It's the first sentence in this it book. It is octopuses. How it is octopuses or octopus, like you would say. Or octopus. Deal, put the plural of deal. It's full of many, many, many octopus facts, and I know so much about octopuses now that I didn't know before. Like, before I was like, octopuses are cool animals, but now I'm like, octopuses are cool animals because all of these things. And I went to an aquarium while I was reading this book, <laughs> the aquarium in the Mall of America, and they had an octopus there, and it was the coolest thing ever to look at the octopus and know things about it that I'd known before. And I was so excited that I was telling all these octopus facts, <laughs> and these families were gathering around me listening, and I felt really special that she could have these strangers better. were listening. Yeah. <laughs> Life goals. Oh, come back. One thing that we just touched on that we really liked about this book was, of course, the narrative. Um, a lot of non-fiction books tend to take little bits and pieces of stories and try to put them all together in one collection. Well, this book didn't read like that for us. It, she does that, but she does it yes, well. Yes, it, it was wo woven in so well that you kind of, like, you followed along. The octopuses were brought out so well as characters, though, that you almost care, like, ten times more about the octopuses than you do about Not even any almost. of the other characters. You do. <laughs> the way it is written, the language that she uses, it's so... Gentle and nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's like, it's the like, Keep doing reading this. this book is like the experience of watching animals in the aquarium. It's that kind of mesmerizing, Imagine relaxing, the elevator music that happens the aquarium. kind of, oh, it's relaxing. <laughs> I liked it. I did too. We're going to tell you our favorite facts that we learned from this book about octopuses. You, you go, go first. first. <laughs> Mine was about the octopus Athena. Um, when she meets Athena, she puts her hand on top of the octopus, and the octopus turns white to her touch. And the reason why is because, fun octopus fact. So I'm white! It's touch me! Already white, super <laughs> relaxed. So the reason why an octopus turns white is because it's related, it's part of the same family as the cuttlefish, which turns white when it's near a fellow female that it doesn't have to fight or flee against, you know. And so, because they're friendly, females are friends to each other. We and so, males. so this female males. octopus noticed the calming touch of Sai Montgomery and turned white to her touch because she recognized Sai Montgomery as a female just by her touching the octopus. How cool is that? And what? as a bonus, octopuses, the skin everywhere, every part of the octopus can taste. It's like the, all the skin is like a tongue. It's like a weird fly, but not a fly. What? <laughs> uh, octopuses can taste. So she said that like people who smoke and things like that, their skin will taste different. So they'll put their hand in the octopus and be like, ew, I don't want to taste you anymore. And I think that's so cool that you can taste with all of your skin. So the octopus is constantly tasting. Like the water, the other things around it, they're so sensitive. I feel like I'd be really uncomfortable if I could taste with everything. I wouldn't work for people. <laughs> I live in solitude. <laughs> I think everybody. That's why octopuses do probably. Hey. Yeah, that's true. They live in solitude. Yeah, they're gonna, This book is really, really cool. I know so much about octopuses. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. I freaked out when I saw octopus when I was reading this. I was like, <gasps> There's a reason that this book won the nonfiction finalist award multiple. for the National Book Award this yes. past year. It's magical. It's, it's a wonderful book. This book has left me spouting octopus facts left and right. <laughs> it's amazing. And I would give it... I would give it a five. I thought it was that. I'd good. give it a five, too. Yeah. Five out of five. Yeah, five octopus Eight arms out of, out of eight. Eight arms out of eight. <laughs> All up. <laughs> All right. Our uh, next book is The Timekeeper. By Mitch Album. Oh, my gosh. We've already started reading this, and it's fantastic. So... 
If you would like to add a comment or talk to us or give us a recommendation or Ask anything, us about octopuses, tell us that you want to know about octopuses. Yeah. You can comment on this video below or you can visit our website for more blogs at www.workcompletedbooked.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you. See ya. Bye. Bye. I feel like we should leave like aqua style. Bye. Bye. Bye.